Okay, let's start. Thank you all for coming to our presentation in this very hot day after lunch last day. So thank you very much. And thank you to the people online, if there's anybody online as well. Um, so uh, our session is about integrating ChatGPT into tutorial sessions um, to enhance, hopefully, critical thinking in university students. Um, we both work at Oxford University. So um, let's get this started. So um, today we're going to talk about um, the context of the tutorials at Oxford University, small group teaching, our experience using AI in psychology tutorials, and uh, some recommendations, something that we're working on at Oxford. And maybe if there's time for questions, we'll do that as well. Um, so I'm Sandra Morales. I work as a digital education advisor at the Center for Teaching and Learning. Um, I also have an academic background in research on technology for language teaching. I am a language teacher, um, and uh, that's why I do some of some teaching as well at Oxford. So I'm Xavier. I'm a digital education advisor as well. Uh, my background is in science. <laughs> I do the same work as, as uh, Sandra and also do some uh, teaching and tutorial. I've got a chance to do some tutorial at the university uh, in psychology. Uh, so this is where the experience comes from. Okay, so this is um, part of a discussion that we had at the Center for Teaching and Learning in terms of um, artificial intelligence and uh, who is the authority. Uh, and that got us to think about um, who has the knowledge, uh, who has the power to make recommendations, and who should we listen to, as this is uh, so new. So uh, we started thinking about how to apply it and um, how to come up with recommendations on how to use uh, AI and how to support our students, mainly uh, through this rapid uh, and uh, rapid evolving um, a rapid evolution of uh, uh, AI and chat GPT particularly. Yeah, so I was just going to say that it's a bit like AI is a bit disruptive, like, you know, we had a, a, like Brexit, COVID, and each time there are people who are, you know, raising up uh, and then give their opinion. So it's very difficult to find uh, who is the authority in this field and even now with AI. Okay, so a little bit of context uh, in terms of the tutorials at Oxford. They are um, small group teaching sessions with a tutor and uh, two or three students. Yeah, two yeah, or three. Between one and three students. And basically the tutor's role is to encourage students to be more analytical, to um, think critically, and uh, to deepen their knowledge about a subject area using a different methodologies. Um, as we will see uh, later on, there are different types of tutorial sessions that um, the tutor can prepare for these students according to their needs, uh, obviously. And as Oxford is so diverse, uh, different programs and uh, divisions organize their tutorials uh, sessions um, independently. They they make their own decisions. So um, it, it depends on the program, how they run the, the sessions, but basically the role of the tutor is mainly to support and um, provide guidance to the students in this mall. So, so the, uh, you know, we get to get, we get to see the, the students either maybe once or sometimes or most of the time we can follow them over a period of four to eight weeks. So we get to, we get the chance to build a rapport uh, with the students, uh, which is nice. Uh, and it's an opportunity that Oxford obviously uh, allows, and it's not maybe relevant to other universities, but that's a good good thing for us. Mm -hmm. uh, so for example, during the pandemic, uh, we've, uh, we've, adapt, we've kind of designed some learning pathway, so that, that comes from the pandemic, where we use our main tools uh, at different uh, stages of the learning. Uh, so we've developed one for uh, lectures, some for uh, uh, seminars, and also for some small teaching chip tutorial. Uh, so you can see different stages here and you use the different tools uh, for, for each stages. And uh, so this is before the rise of AI. And now uh, some other uh, some, some other staff uh, have used, uh, have kind of integrated uh, in a in their learning path pathway, the use of AI. So, do you want to say a little things about this? Yes. So, this uh, example is um, 
from one of the tutors in the language center. So she applied the structure of the FIT Pathways for tutorials and small group teaching, um, integrating the different um, the different tools that we have at Oxford, uh, Canvas, Teams, etc. Um, but she included chat GPT in the different stages. So in terms of knowledge application, it, and the student and the tutor work together. So they have uh, an instance to work with ChatGPT, the same in terms of uh, online or um, in-class person, I mean, online class and in-person class uh, uh, to collaborate and to have a more uh, per personalized session in which they can both work with ChatGPT. Um, so here's one uh, opinion or, or one um, the, the voice of the student uh, in terms of how to work with the tutor and uh, with chat GPT. Basically, um, what they say is that they, uh, they appreciate the tutor being there as well to support this process. Yes. Yeah, oh, still. So our, in terms of the work that we did uh, in tutorials, we had the question of is critical thinking the answer to generative AI? There's a link there to a, to a, an article that I read. And well, we thought maybe, maybe that could be something uh, that can support students to in better interact with the tool in terms of analysis, evaluation, decision-making, reflection, uh, and basically to familiarize uh, with the tool. So, so um, my, my experience using ChatGPT in psychology tutorials, so I, I, I teach uh, experimental psychology, or well, teach a tutor in experimental psychology. Uh, so I've used it uh, already since uh, um, January 2023, uh, but recently we, we, me and Sandra, we tried to use it in one-to-one -one tutorial where we kind of uh, introduce uh, ChatGPT to the students if they haven't done so yet, and uh, we use them during the tutorial, uh, and we looked uh, uh, really at how they 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 interact with the uh, with uh, the tool, uh, especially about uh, uh, prompting engineering. So, so we are looking at you know how did they talk to the uh, to the to the to the um, to the to the chat GPT, to chat GPTs. So, for example, we give them a task to do uh, about, for example, design a curriculum uh, on. Uh, for example, you know, we put them in a in a scenario. Uh, we say that you are a, a, a tutor, and then a, a professor asks you to design a, to design a one hour lectures because the professor can't. Uh, make it so you have to be in charge and and try to think about uh, uh, a curriculum or like a small a small one hour curriculum for your teaching for for an hour. So we asked them that and then we looked at what the students uh, write on ChatGPT. So we just started to do that with three students and. I mean, uh, it's interesting to see the prompt how, depending on the personality of the students, how they interact with the with the chatbot. Uh, so we have different type of students and we you know depending on their on their, uh, you call that their um, yeah, personality, personality. Yes, they, they, they last a bit uh, different different ways of, of the, the the machine. Yeah, what caught our attention was the language that they use to interact uh, with the with the machine. If you if you can see there, um, the one is more imperative. Write me a university level. The other one says, "Hello, can you please?" So that's you know a different. And the third one is, "I want you to be an expert." So it's giving orders directions to the to the machine so that was um actually something that matched with our students um personalities as yes. well um so we we started to uh so other other people in our team and the center for teaching and learning are, are also working on ai and we started to think about uh you know the competencies that set that uh students or even staff uh could 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 have uh, to 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 interact those tools. So you can see that you can start from a novice level to an expert level. And uh, how do you engage? Uh, so we come up with uh, five modes of engagement. Uh, you know, what tool do you need to to choose? How do you prompt? Uh, how do you interpret uh, the outcomes? Uh, how do you integrate them into your professional practice? And you know, if you're very uh, can become an expert, uh, you you can start to make decisions 
on how to develop those tools. Do you want to say about where does it come yeah, from? Yeah, just to add that uh, this framework is based on the Common European Framework for Languages, which has a similar organization um, for when you learn a language from basic level to expert. So that we oh, we thought that that would be a, a, a good starting point to do the same, perhaps for um, AI. So I mean, we don't need to read all this text, but you know this is an example of uh, Dominique who, who kind of de designed this uh, uh, example of how you can uh, uh, judge someone uh, if they are competent on using different type of prompting. So this is from the beginners. This is to the advanced uh, to the advanced users. Uh, Self evaluation. Oh yes. So also we we designed a tool to kind of. Uh, how students can self-evaluate themselves. So before they start to use the the uh, the tool, they could choose. They could look at this, and then they have some questions they can ask. Uh, they can they can answer to kind of find the level they are at when they start to use the AI. Yes. So based on that, all of that in our experience, we thought about um, a framework that we could use um, in the tutorials or any small group teaching. Well, this is based on uh, the Oxford organization of tutorials. As you can see here, um, these are the different types of sessions that uh, tutors can, um, can have with the students, a feedback session, problem solving, questioning, collaborative discussions, and content knowledge. So this happens in the tutorial session. So what we suggest and recommend is that ChatGPT is used as a companion in these sessions, um, basically starting with a self-evaluation, um, with a self-evaluation by the students. So they can both, um, the student and the tutor, they can both know what's the start, the, what the starting point is in terms of using the, the, the tool and for the type of session. Uh, then prompting practice in terms of the language that they use, the interaction. I was reading the other day a, 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 an article that says, that you know, as you you saw in the previous um, in the previous slide, one of the students said to ChatGPT, "I want you to be an expert," and that is it was the the way to go basically. So doing some prompting uh, practice in these tutorial sessions, but as well um, record the process of working with the AI tool through reflection and awareness. So in this sense, we recommend the students and the tutor work together, say what worked, what didn't work, let's write about it, let's discuss this process. So it will allow us to have some self-monitoring and basically the students have the control over um, the AI rather than the other way around. So there is a process of uh, uh, reflection and discussion in which we are aware on how we use the, the tool and what uh, can be done to continue using it effectively depending on the students needs so yeah this is good because if you've got your students for eight weeks you can see the, the progress uh, and by the way this framework is just you know what we started to think about this is not a framework that's been is adopted by the university at the moment it's just no, it's just our recommendation our recommendation so far you know we this needs to be discussed so it's not something that is Develop yet? Uh, yes. To finish, this is uh, a quote from one of our students. Uh, st student take control over the AI tools rather than the, the AI taking over control. Uh, over the, the taking control, and um, we have also started to, like so many of you, maybe uh, started to build uh, uh, Canvas. Or we're using Canvas courses online uh, for uh, academics or students to uh, to learn about AI and use it. Uh, at the moment, is still on, under development. Uh, Yes, that's, that's it. All. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.